Hey everybody, Mental Ray Studio Lighting Edition. Okay, so let's just create a basic, just a basic studio lighting setup in uh, with Mental Ray. Now keep in mind, I haven't used Mental Ray for many years, but how hard can it be, right? Can't be that hard. So let's talk a little bit about lighting. What kind of uh, options do we have? Well, the standard lights, Omni, Spot. Uh, the thing with these are they are shooting out lights from uh, one uh, from a little point, right? So you're gonna get a specular highlight. Not really gonna get any nice reflection on your teapot, right? Uh, so it's not a really good options. Uh, then you have you could use like an Omni and behind it have a white plane uh, so that the plane is be, being seen in the reflection it's I uh, it's okay I guess you could um, have um, a plane that uh, that has a um, an illuminated material a glow uh, but seriously that would um, mean a lot of render time because it's gonna be a lot of splotches going on on the screen so um, that's not really a good option then we have the photometric mental ray sky portal yeah sure I mean you could uh, add a custom map into here and um, such as a um, a gradient ramp but you know uh, not really that good and it's it, this is more used for um, if you have like a sky environment and you want to light up a room you would have those by the windows kind of sucking in the light so we're gonna go with the free light okay that's kind of the closest uh, to um, to the V-Ray plane lights. So um, let's create our backdrop first so we can get this started. I'm just gonna create a L shape and uh, with vertex we're just gonna fillet this like so. Beautiful. And extrude this A little bit. I'm just gonna hide that like so. Make it a little bit bigger. And then we create our teapot as a model. Like so. And of course it's not enough. Like so. Let's see, come on. Yep, we're done. Now we're done. Okay, so le some material. I'm using a Arkin Design. Slap that on to our teapot. And I'm feeling kind of blue, so we're going with the blue. Like so, maybe. And it's a little bit of a reflection. I'm going to click on the, bio, uh, the IOR so we can change this here instead of playing around with that down there. <coughs> uh, something like that maybe. And let's uh, give our um, <coughs> backdrop a Orkin design no reflection. And I'm just going to keep it gray like that for now. And now let's create our lights. <sighs> Free light. And I'm not gonna add the exposure control. That would be like um, like a camera <clears throat> with shutter speed and ISO and such. But we can just tweak it here. Turn on shadow, ray traced shadows on. And here we want to have a rectangle so we have some 
some good stuff going on to the reflection. Put it here. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, intensity. We probably want to turn this down a little bit. And you can go with the color here or use this. Hotter, the stronger, the bluer. Okay. I'm just using Final Gather. Whoops, wrong. I'm pretty much, pretty much standard. Just low on Final Gather. Here's the bounces. We can just add a bounce if we want to. Let's do a tri render with one light. This is what we get so far. Yep, we're starting to get there. Somewhat even lighting there. So, now you can turn on the, let's see, where is it? I thought I saw it somewhere. Really? Did I just imagine that? That ah, targeting, there. So we can easily target our goal here. I'm just gonna take this light and I will shift drag to make a copy. And we're gonna make just a regular boring three point lighting. Let's see, probably way too strong or not. Let's just check this out. And you see our plane being displayed here. Kind of works, right? Not too shabby. And we can make this a little bit bluer. You know, do the, like everyone is doing, you know, orange and blue lighting. Let, it, let them, okay, it was maybe a bit too strong, depending on what kind of look you're going for. But, let's see, we can probably crank this up a little bit. And I'm going to... Do something like so. See if this is better. Yeah, now we're starting to get somewhere. <clears throat> and this is pretty much um, a, a very simple studio setup in uh, in Mental Ray. Not so much more to talk about. You know, we could uh, shadow samples can up the shadow samples a bit I suppose uh, shadow perm there nothing there atmosphere no don't need that retrace shadow I think we're pretty good pretty good to go here just gonna up this a little bit and we can up the quality a little bit and just check this out. <clears throat> now you want to think about not getting uh, anything overly bright, okay? So we could probably uh, as you can see, the reflection got a little bit better here, not as grainy. Uh, I'm going to turn this down again. I will make our backdrop a little bit wider because we can. It's still too gray. I don't like that. We want to have it not pure white, but um, still I'm just uh, right clicking, just looking at the red, green, blue values and those see where we are ah, it's kind of good it's not uh, not too bad maybe here nah we're pretty good there could probably turn down the lightness here a little bit like so of course you would uh, up the quality a bit because you can see some grain here um, so just up the the image 
stuff here. It's kind of nice to have these uh, quick sliders to um, tweak things quickly. So yeah, hopefully this have been um, good. Hope you learned something from it. Okay, bye.